folks good evening earthmaster here checking in on this beautiful friday party night uh, may 28 2021 6 52 p.m west coast time in california quite a bit of uh, earthquakes going on off the coast over here in japan watching this area specifically for further movement uh, this is an area where i've talked about here in the past uh, potentially seeing the next mega quake not, not saying it's going to happen but uh, that's kind of where it should happen as far as the uh, dynamics of everything that's been going on over the past couple days or past few weeks I should say uh, with all the uh, earthquake movement and whatnot around this area uh, and more so with the Pacific Plate there's the USGS map. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in to this earthquake activity here. You can see this pretty good cluster of little, not not little quakes. I shouldn't say little. Uh, got a 5.5 is the most recent quake, the largest in this series of earthquakes happening off the coast of Japan uh, into the subduction zone. This area right here, no doubt, very capable of producing some significant large earthquakes. Uh, so watching this area pretty closely. Um, just it's. Too many earthquakes within a small amount of time here, folks, to just ignore. We're talking just within the last couple hours, we've had four earthquakes uh, ranging from 5.5 to 4.7, two five-pointers. So that's uh, something to watch pretty closely. Uh, some further movement also down here along the Indonesia area, uh, north of, uh, yeah, just north in this region, 5.1. And uh, it looks like, uh, that was within the last hour as well. We are seeing a little bit of further movement up here north of the Himalayas into the Middle East here, Afghanistan, 5.0 in Af Afghanistan, and also a 4.4 in Tajikistan. Uh, within the last hour, that 4.4 happened. A little bit of further movement to the west of what we've seen over the last few days there, as far as earthquake activity goes in the China region, uh, movement pushing westward. But then again, looking at this area here, just looks like we're, uh, into some uh, heightened activity right now over here in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, down here to the south, a little bit of movement southwest or southeast of the Solomon Islands, nothing big, just a couple uh, uh, low five pointers for that area. South America, relatively quiet as well. Uh, Puerto Rico and through uh, the Caribbean area looking kind of eh, not uh, anything significant. Let's check out the all magnitudes here. It doesn't add too much here for the uh, Puerto Rico area. Uh, West Coast region, we did notice a little bit of earthquake activity off the coast of Oregon into the uh, well, well west of the Cascadia Mega Thrust area, 3.3 off in the ocean out there, uh, and also some further movement inland, uh, Intermountain West. We talked about this earlier, how we're looking at uh, specific earthquake activity ramping up into Northern California around Lake Tahoe, and uh, looking at this movement here, looks like it may have increased here down into the uh, Ridgecrest area. Uh, across portions of the Garlock fault structure as well. You can see a little bit of microquake activity taking place here on this uh, shear function fault. Uh, and also some movement up here along Long Valley Super Volcano. Uh, so we're still kind of watching the west coast for a potential further movement. Uh, as far as Lake Tahoe activity goes, uh, covered that this morning. There's been 28 earthquakes today. The largest one is going to be that 4.2. Um, so looking at quite a bit of aftershock activity, you know, I can't say with 100% certainty that this is aftershock activity. Uh, could just be a fairly large swarm to something bigger happening. Who knows? We've seen a lot of movement up here uh, in Lake Tahoe, northwest of Truckee and Portola area over the past couple weeks. And uh, I just don't think we're done yet. Kind of watching that region. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, Washington still fairly quiet up here in the Pacific Northwest. Most of the, of the uh, pressure gradients look like they're uh, Northern California South um, in this little general area. You can kind of sometimes see where they're all happening at, where the, where the general movement is in the, into the uh, Intermountain West region. But uh, uh, just kind of quiet up there in the Pacific Northwest right now. Alaska as well, look at that. Just a few microquakes throughout the region uh, and nothing major going on near the uh, volcanoes either. Just kind of just eerily quiet for right now. Um, Hawaii, uh, a couple quakes within the last hour, one in the southeast flank and one on the northern north. Well, let's see where this is at, 2.3. Okay, uh, that's kind of down there in that area where the, uh, where those fissures were a few years ago. Uh, cracks out of the ground, I believe. 
Uh, yeah, 2.3 over here within the last hour. A little bit of further movement uh, ramping up there around the Kilauea volcano. Uh, Mono Loa looking um, active, but nothing, uh, nothing significant as far as any type of swarming goes right now. Uh, let's see here, folks. Let's check out the uh, trimmer map real quick. I believe it's past 6.30. Yes, it is. Trimmer map is zero. Zip zero, folks. Nothing at all. Uh, no trimmers to report at all along the Cascadia subduction zone today. Kind of odd. Yellowstone National Park, I don't believe we've seen any type of movement at all. It's just been all too quiet there. I keep saying that time and time and time and time and time again. All right, folks, have yourself a beautiful Friday night out there. Uh, I'm just going to kick back and uh, relax. Maybe, I don't know, maybe put a movie on or watch some videos here on YouTube. I don't know. Just kind of just want to take it easy. No partying out here for me tonight. But, uh, yeah, just I'll maybe pop pop in the uh, live stream here off and on say hi all right folks have a beautiful night we'll chat to you guys a little bit later stay safe out there there's a little bit of movement i've been watching on the uh petrolia uh seismograph station there that's on the northern california coastline getting a couple spikes of earthquakes there on that live seismograph right now it uh usgs not issuing anything but i am noticing uh, some uh, activity show up on the Petrolia uh, California station. That's our Northern California coastline. It's going to be the second station down from Barrett. Uh, it's coming up right now, right here, right here where this hand is. A couple small spikes, localized earthquakes, some very small earthquakes there, but definitely seen a little increase in uh, activity there along the Northern California coast. So, all right, folks, have yourself a good night. We'll catch you later. Peace out.